up, I want to say hello, Haley. If you're watching Aunt Angie, hi, hun. Um, Haley is my niece, and I'll talk about her in a little bit. Um, let's see. This is just a vlog. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my vacation and show you what I've got going in the, the uh, realm of projects. Let's see, first step. Today is Monday, and it was my first day back to work after being off for two weeks on vacation. So, <sighs> that's all I can say. It wasn't a bad day, but you know, when you are on vacation, and I pretty much still got up early every day, but not as early as what I get up. Like, I normally get up at five, between five and 5.15, and on vacation, I would get up anywhere from 6 to 7, you know, around in there. So I got to sleep in, sit around, have your coffee, whatever. But anyway, as for our first week of vacation, we went to the Lake of the Ozarks, like we have done for several years now. And we left on Saturday, and we stayed all the way until the following Saturday. Um, I don't have a whole ton of pictures because... This year, we kind of just took it easy. It was really, really hot. Um, the last few weeks have been really hot with heat advisories, not only here in the city I live in, but also at the Lake of the Ozarks where we were. So it was really hot. And so you didn't really want to do a whole lot of stuff that, you know, like normally, or before we have gone to this state park called Haha ha Tonka, and walked on the trails and stuff. It was just too hot for that. But we still did go play miniature golf because the place we go is real shady and we went early in the morning. And even then we were still just like, the humidity was so bad. We were just really sweaty and everything. But so for the most part, we did a lot of hanging out at the pool, which you know how relaxing that can be. You just, I, I read, put it, I read five and a half books. <laughs> I mean, just really relaxing, and um, like in a series of books, and I wish I would have remembered to bring my Kindle in, and I could have told you what they were, because they were pretty good. They were about like witches. Um, you know how I like that scary, they weren't scary in any way, but I like vampires, witches, zombies, all that stuff. I feel like I have a hair on my nose, sorry. So I'm trying to think. We already have our vacation booked for next year. We'll be going next year um, around the same time. <clears throat> Trying to think of, well, there's also this indoor place that we go and play um, shuffleboard, the kind that's on a table, not on the ground. And so we went and played games and played that. We went there a couple of different times. We went shopping, you know, out at the outlet mall. But, nor but usually there's like on Bagnell Dam, there's all these shops and everything, and usually in the evenings, this is the first year we didn't actually go up there on an evening and just walk the strip. It was just too hot. But, you know, we still had a really, really good time. We played a lot of Sari and Uno, and I don't think we played, we didn't play the Yahtzee this year, we just did Sari and Uno. But just had some really good quality family time together and just really relaxing, and the lake is beautiful. This year we saw more deer than we've ever seen before out there. Lots of groundhogs, or some people call them woodchucks. Um, just, you know, just the nature. I really just enjoyed that a lot. And there's also some families that usually go around the same time we do. So caught up with them, and it's kind of fun to watch their kids grow and everything. So first week of vacation was wonderful. Um, I wanted to show you real quick. The first thing we do when we get there is we do stop on the dam and we take pictures there which everybody's getting pretty bored of but I just like to just stop long enough to get pictures of the kids together because I can look back over the years and see how they've grown it's really I don't know maybe it's a mom thing but we also stop that same Bagnell Dam strip that I was telling you about we do stop there the first day and there's a place there called Dog Patch and we always go in there and look around and see what kind of souvenirs we can find, you know, if we want any souvenirs or anything. And I bought some kind of different things. I'm not going to do a whole vacation haul. I've already put everything up, so 
I mean, I did, I always save to get my coach purse, and so I did that, and I did find a new pair of Converse. Actually, I found two pair, but I'm eventually, I think, maybe going to do a video to show you all my Converse, my shoes. I don't know. Um, I don't want to be like one of those braggy people, but if I do a video, I'll get all into that later. But, you know, I have, <laughs> they have these little, you know, I like owls, and I have no idea where I'm going to put these little things, but I love them. I got this little owl. It's pink. Wouldn't it be cool if real owls came in pink? And this one's name is Pinky. Ooh. It says, if you look up in the night sky, you just may see me flying by. Wouldn't I really love that? See, and at the at Dog Patch out there, these are $5.99. And I've seen these at other places, like my grocery store, they're 10 bucks. I haven't seen this particular one, but these Thai little things. There are more everywhere else I go, but that's pinky. And then I had to get a purple one, of course, because these, those are my two favorite colors. And here's the other one. And see, it's like a horned owl. See, it's got the little horns. And this one's name is Oscar. I like to hunt fish, but only at night. A real tricky task with only moonlight. Ha. Huh. And their names are on their little tags too. That's Oscar, and they have little tails, but this one's purple and blue. So, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these little fellas, but I just thought they were really cute. So I bought them. Then, while we were looking around, you know I'm a Halloween freak, so they had these little things on clearance for two bucks. And they're supposed to be ornaments, but I think I'll probably just set them around. Or maybe I might use them as ornaments because I did buy a tree that I'm going to use at Halloween. If I'm not feeling lazy, some years I decorate like crazy and some years I don't. This little guy's name is Mystery. And it's a little jack-o'-lantern with a little mask on. And it's just adorable. And this one I think is my favorite. Its name is Treatsy, and it's a little ghost with its little treat bag. And then you'd think this one would have been my favorite, but, but the ghost is my favorite. But this one is named Batty. Can you guess what it is? It's a little bat. And it has little purple eyes, and it's so sweet and adorable. That's Batty. So that was just, you know, my silly little on a whim purchases. But we didn't do a ton of shopping this time, but, and then the boys like for their souvenirs were things that weren't like souvenir -y, if that makes sense, like shoes and a jacket and clothes and stuff like that. So, but those were my little fun purchases. So I wanted to share those. next week on vacation you know I took two weeks because some you know sometimes you kind of need to rest from your vacation <laughs> if that makes any sense I like to have just like a few days of just do whatever I want time now during the second week I did clean house and stuff and before I left I had no projects on the looms everything was done even my work project so that second week I did go a little crazy on the knitting because I really missed it so I did some stuff with projects that I'll show you and I also 
watched a few movies on Amazon Prime. Um, one of them that I've seen like so many times, but there's something about the movie, even though I hate the ending, is The Mist. I, I don't know what there is about that movie, but it's a scary one that I like and I keep watching and don't ask me why because I don't have a good answer. But, um, and then I did some catching up on YouTube videos. I'm still pretty behind on those, but you guys know how that goes. There's so many great people that do YouTube, it's hard to keep up. Um, but I'm, I do try my best. And so let's see. I'm trying to think about the second week. The most important part about the second week was on Thursday, just this past Thursday, two of my brothers and their families came up for a visit. And um, I won't post pictures because I didn't get any permission. You know, I didn't, I didn't even think about asking if it was okay to show pictures, but you know, it's their kids and their families and I'm not gonna post pictures without their permission. But my brother Ricky and Ann came up and their two little girls, Bella and Allison, and um, then my brother Jimmy and his wife April and their four kids, they have a baby named Noah. It's the only little boy they have. He's not even two months old, little bitty guy. And then my nieces, um, Haley, who watches my videos sometimes, which is why I wanted to make sure I said hi to her, and Megan and Emma. And so we had such a good time. On Thursday, everybody came in kind of late, so we just ordered pizza, sat around and talked and everything. And they uh, were staying at hotels, so they went back to their hotels. And then Friday, we all went to the amusement park I've told you guys about before, Worlds of Fun. And then we also went to Oceans of Fun, which is the water version, you know, the water park. Um, when you buy a ticket, it, it goes for both parks. The only thing about it was, it was one of the hottest days of the year that day. It, it was really, really hot. So I don't feel like my, my family got to really exper experience Worlds of Fun because we spent quite a bit of time in the kids section, you know, with all the little kid rides and everything. So the younger kids really got, well, and, and their ages range from not even two months to eight. So a lot of little kids and five little girls and a little and a baby boy but anyway we we wrote a few things and then we went to it's called Camp Snoopy where all the little kids go and then everybody was so hot and so then we decided to ride this ride called the Fury of the Nile where you get wet you get there's like geysers that come up and a waterfall and, and you and you get wet so we figured it would cool us down and so we were waiting there in line and then they shut the darn ride down for like a safety check and it's like couldn't you have like stopped people from standing in line let the rest of us go through then do your safety check we stood there for probably 25 minutes and by then you know people were starting to feel kind of sick and it was and we were just like you know what let's just go over to oceans of fun go swimming, cool off, and then maybe we'll go back to Worlds of Fun afterwards. So we went to Oceans of Fun and that was really great. And also both parks, you know, since we had a little baby with us, my sister-in-law was so great making sure he stayed cool because both parks had air conditioned, uh, like family areas where you could go nurse your baby or, or just go cool off and stuff like that. So she made sure to hang out in those areas and then we found a shady spot to, you know when it when she wasn't in that spot so and then she also had him like a little bit down in the pool just his little feet because he's so little and so the sun didn't touch his little body but so anyway we went swimming and stuff and we got all cooled off and everything, but by the time we got done there and walking around there, going to the different attractions and everything, everybody was really tired. So we did not go back to Worlds of Fun. We just went ahead and went back to our our house and hotels and changed clothes and went. Then we went out and had dinner, and then. Saturday we went to this place called Paradise Park and it's really fun. It is a lot of indoor stuff. It has like um, 
a foam area that has like a ball pit and little foam balls and stuff that the kids can shoot at each other and everything and then like an arcade indoor um, bumper cars and then outside there's miniature golf and go-karts and batting cages and a few other things and so the only outdoor thing we did was go-karts and but then stayed inside for the rest of the time and then went to eat and then yesterday you know everybody we just visited and stuff just stayed inside and then everybody went home but it was a really really nice visit just a really great two weeks of vacation you know and then I had to go back to work which I guess I'm thankful to have a job <laughs> so but anyway that's all about vacation so next let me show you my projects I think I'll show you first what I have in process and one thing is like a matching thing for another so I'll show you a done thing and an in process first remember I told well first let me just show you this what do you think this is my nieces thought it was a really giant hat <laughs> some of you I think probably are gonna guess what it is but remember I told you I got I finally got a Swift and I was so excited about that. Now I'm on the I'm just on the lookout for hanks of yarn because I had fun with I only had one, and so I've only got to do one hank of yarn on the Swift. But this is a cover I made for it with the little handle. So because I have the Swift when it's not in use, it's just hooked up to the same table where my Addy machines and my yarn ball winder is, and then I just covered up with this. So, but that's what that is, not a giant hat. It's my Swift cover. Next, for projects that I'm working on, at work I have, remember, if, you've, if you're up to date on my videos, I showed you uh, a couple times ago that little clutch, or I, I'm using it to hold just different little notions and stuff, the bag that I made with plastic canvas. I'm making another one of those, and that's my work project which that takes quite a bit of time, but I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And so, and then next I'm making this scarf. Pretty much just started it yesterday, or I did just start it yesterday, but I'm making it with the James C. Brett Marble Chunky. It's one of those that I bought from Daramore's. And the one that this one is, is number... MC7 and then I've got a done project because this is the hat that I made that's gonna go with the scarf But aren't those like really perfect fall colors? So that's the hat that I made that's gonna go with the scarf And I'll probably end up getting this done this week Then Another project I have that's going I, I am trying this again the first time I tried to make something on this loom, I gave up because it was taking too long. But I'm trying out the blanket loom again, or the afghan loom, with this Bernat blanket yarn. And I don't have the label with me, but as you see the progress of this at some point in time, I will have the label so I can show it to you. But I started this thing again. And you can't see anything coming out yet. I don't know how many. I haven't gotten very many rows done. Maybe four. So, you know, it's got a long way to go. But with this nice thick yarn, I figured maybe I could see some progress. That was one of my problems when I tried it before was the yarn I used was just a worsted weight, like two strands, and it was taking forever to see any progress. And it was really just kind of, you know, if you don't see progress, it's just, it, it gets boring. But this, I think, I'm going to be seeing some progress. And you pretty much just have to knit and go ahead and use the loom hook and keep going. You can't sit and knit all the hooks and then use the loom hook. So anyway, I only worked on this so far for one, not a whole day, but one day. No, just, I don't even remember how long that day. This is going to take a long time. But hopefully, we'll start seeing something come out of the bottom. And 
Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll actually be done with it by winter time. We'll see. Don't hold me to that. Finished projects, I have two scarf and hat sets I made. Get myself adjusted here. First one was made with the Serenity Chunky Yarn by Deborah Norval, and this color is Majesty. This is the scarf. It's really pretty. It's with grays and purples and pinks. Really pretty. Made a really nice scarf. And then the matching hat. And these are like a slouchy hat. And I thought that striped up really pretty. Then the other one. I don't have a label. I was like, what happened to the label? Okay, I just noticed the timer reset itself. So in case it cut out, I was looking for the label on this next scarf and hat set I was going to show you, but I don't have a label because when I was in the Ozarks, I went to Joann's and bought some yarn. I didn't do a haul of it because I, like I said, I already put everything up and it wasn't really anything spectacular. I did take a couple pictures and I put them on Instagram. So, um, I have pictures, but anyway, you know how Joann's has that yarn that it says it's like mill ends and mixed fibers and it doesn't tell you what kind of yarn it is, but usually, at least by me, it's usually like $7.99 a package. Well, they had them for $5.99 a package, plus I had a 20% off friends and family discount for my whole purchase, so I used my, that over my whole purchase, and I bought this bag of yarn that had four skeins in it. I have no idea what kind of yarn it is. It feels a lot like the Bernat Softy Chunky. A lot like that. Maybe just a tad bit softer, but it feels just like that. Same weight and feel. But So I made this scarf, which I love these colors, and that's what drew me to that, was this, these colors. And then I made matching hat. But the reason I don't have a label is because it didn't come with a label. It just came in the plastic bag that says mixed fibers. I'm guessing it's acrylic. Just because if it's just like the, the Bernat Softy Chunky, that's what that is. But I really like that a lot. I especially like the hat. I really like how that, that striped out. I thought it was so pretty. Then the last thing. Oh, I do have another project that I haven't finished yet on the Addy, the small Addy. I have a snake scarf, but it's only about this long right now. But I do have one I finished. Because how could I let a vlog go by and show you my projects and not have a snake? That's like my goal, to make sure I have a snake. So, until someday when I get sick of making these things. But this one is, can you guess what kind of yarn? The Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. This one is in a print and it's called Green Camo Stripe. And this is what, it, this would be a good boy one. That's what it looks like. Green eyes. I always do a red tongue. I've seen people do different tongues, but I like just kind of sticking with the red tongue. So that's that one. And I like how it did like the little stripes. And then it worked out perfect because there was a stripe right where you put the eyes. And I really liked how it did that. I thought it looked really cute. So there's my snake scarf. So I think that's everything. Trying to think. You know, it's been a really eventful last couple of weeks. I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm leaving out. Of course, if there is, then, you know, I'll talk about it in my next vlog. And let me know, would you be interested at all in seeing my Converse collection? I mean, sometimes people, because, I don't want people to think, oh, she's bragging on how many Converse she has and stuff, because I'm not. I mean, it's just something that I've, over the last few months, have just, I always wanted a pair when I was a kid and, and never got a pair. And then as an adult, I finally got them. And now it's like I'm hooked on finding them. 
but I've never spent full price on a pair of them ever. I always get them on sale. Like a lot of mine have come from Kohl's when I get the 30% off discount, plus they'll be on sale already and you know, and then it's kind of funny because I'll buy them, then I'll get the Kohl's cash, and then I'll buy more with the Kohl's cash. And then like when we were in the Ozarks, they had them on, I got a pair on clearance. If I can find them in the kids' sizes, I'll buy the kids' sizes. Um, and I feel like I'm having to justify spending my own money that I earn. But, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't ever feel like people are bragging about what they have when they do stuff like that. But I just feel kind of weird about it. But I do love my Converse, and I do have some pretty cool ones, I think. I would like to eventually do a custom pair, but they're $75, and I just have a really, really hard time spending that kind of money on a pair of shoes. But Converse lasts a long time, and I wear every pair that I have, too. I think there's only a couple pair I haven't worn. Even one of the pairs that I bought at the Ozarks I wore over this past weekend. But, and I thought about... My mother-in-law usually gives me like a hundred dollar bill for my birthday so I thought maybe I would I could possibly get the Converse then but then there's this expensive eye cream I like that that's what I usually get that I won't spend the money on but it's like you know when somebody gives you the money it's like a gift I don't know maybe between her and my husband and my mom I could pull off the custom Converse and the eye cream but it's like this, it's this Derma Doctor cream that I a lot of times would get used to, not anymore, would get like puffy bags under my eyes and I don't get them with that. And my brother had tried it out and it didn't work for him so I don't think it would work for everybody but it works really good for me. And like if I'm really super tired it perks up my eyes and I just put it down here. You can use it up here too but I just put it down here. I am just going off on so many different you know, vacation, projects, Converse, eye cream, all over the board. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do you guys ever feel like you have to justify your purchases? And that's the other thing too, I don't have credit card debt, like that's anybody's business, but you know, I try to be, I try to, I'm not like, okay, I put money in savings, for our vacations. I also have an account I put money in for for Christmas. I also contribute to my 401k so I have money for my retirement. But then I have my fun money. You know if you don't spend some of the money you make you feel like why am I working besides just to pay bills. And so I used to be really not addicted but you know all the different eyeshadow palettes that come out and not like you know, I'm talking like the ones you get from Sephora. I have several of those that I would buy. Those things last forever, plus how much freaking eyeshadow do you need? And I don't wear half of it. And, you know, I'll get on colors that I like and that's what I stick with. So, instead of doing that, then I've kind of gone to the Converse and I'm actually spending less on the Converse. But it's the same kind of thing. I, just like with PayPal, you know, I have like a little, um, budget that I have for that so I can buy things from Etsy you know my I like to support Etsy shops and I have several friends on Etsy who I like to buy their products you know like Kathy's bags or Pam's yarn you know I like to support them and you know I know how hard it it and I know people sometimes might think well some of the things people sell on Etsy are kind of pricey but really if you think about the time and the effort and the love and the care they put into their creations, I would much rather have that than a bunch of junk from Walmart or somewhere, you know? And like, so I, and I have a notebook I keep where I write down, you know, for every paycheck, here's all the bills, so I know ahead of time, here's how much I'm saving for all these different things I save for. And sometimes savings might just be $10 at a time, but you wouldn't believe how fast that adds up, you know, but that's, you know, many of you know that because I know you probably do that too. But I'm old enough now, you know, where I've learned all my lessons about credit cards and all that in my past. And so, you know, I'm almost 45. I've learned some lessons and I've worked my ass off. And so if I want to buy a pair of Converse, I'm going to buy a pair of Converse. <laughs> and here I go again, just trying to justify my own purchases of my own money. Sorry. 
So anyway, um, I think that's it. And I think I'll go. And I hope you all have a really, really great week. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.